divide 2003 by 4. While doing this division, many do this mistake. What is the mistake that they do? I will let you know. But before that, we should frame it in this way. 2003 and 4 here. This is your step 1. Next. Here we have 2 and here 4. 2 is smaller than 4. So we should take two numbers 20. When do we get 20 in 4 table? 4 5 is 20. Now we should subtract. 20 minus 20 0. After this bring down the beside number. So 0 down. Now here we have 0 and here 4. 0 is smaller than 4. So we should bring down the second number. And the rule to bring down the second number is we should put 0 here. Then only we can bring it down. After this step the mistake happens and the mistake is this. Here we have 3 and here 4. 3 is smaller than 4 and we don't have any more numbers to bring it down. So what many do is they directly put it dot and take 0. Put dot take 0 which is wrong. Why is it wrong? Because just now you brought this number down and in the same step you want to put dot take 0 which is wrong. I repeat, bring the number down and also put dot take 0. Bring the number down and put dot take 0. Both at the same step you should not do. Instead what you should think of doing is which number should we take here. If I take 1 we will get 4. But 4 is larger than 3. So what we should do is we should take 0. So 4 into 0, 0. Now we should subtract 3 minus 0, 3. Over here we did not bring any number down and 3 is smaller than 4. So now we can put dot and take 0. So 30. A number close to 30 in 4 table is 4 sevens 28. Now we should subtract we get 2. 2 is smaller than 4 and we already have the decimal. So directly take 0. So 20. When do we get 20 in 4 table? 4 fives 20. Now we should subtract we get 0. This is our remainder and this is our quotient. Did you understand where does the mistake happens? You should not do that mistake.